All right. Welcome again to the continuation of the three moment equation. This is the part two. Today's lesson topic we are going to discuss special conditions regarding three moment equations. So here, as you can see, we have here a overhang. Okay, so how can how do we deal regarding overhang in three moment equation? And how we do how do we deal if there is a fix right fix support at three moment equation? Okay. First let's write again the equation for the three moment. Okay, with no settlement and EI is so EI is constant. Okay. So M one L one plus two M two L one plus L two plus M3 L2 okay, plus 6A1A over L1 plus 6A2B over L2 is equal to 0. Okay. Alright, so next. So here, as you can see, if we have a fixed support, Right, if we have fixed support in three moment equation, we need to draw a uh, imaginary beam here. So let me draw that again. No, so here, uh, imaginary beam. Okay. Right, so that's the imaginary beam. And then we have here, say this is point O. Okay, this is uh, imaginary beam with imaginary length. And there is imaginary moment here. Okay. So that's it. No? And then next, we're going to uh, focus on this part in the overhang section so in overhang so first we need to uh, compute the moment here okay that uh, the moment here at the overhang this point at a as you can see the moment will be clockwise okay, so what is the value of this moment so MA here, so MA is equal to, we cut here and get the moment at this point, that is 40 times 5. Okay, so 40 times 5, that is equal to 200 kilonewton meter, that is clockwise. Okay. Okay, next, okay, tapos na tayo. We are uh, finish in uh, answering, no? Or we are finish in uh, focusing on each conditions of this beam. So, first condition, overhang. Okay, yung gagawin mo lang, ito, so for the moment. Okay, convert it to the moment. Okay, para you will disregard this part, this overhang. So, you will convert the this part into a moment, MA. Okay, and then next, on the fixed part, you need to draw imaginary. 
uh, segment. Okay? Okay, so now we are going to use this equation. First, as you can see, there is 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 joints. Okay, so in the three moment equation, okay, so here as you can see, M1, M2, M3. So you should be in, meaning you only focus on three joints and three supports. So that is point A, point B, point C. And then after that, you're going to use again, you're going to uh, use this equation again for B, C, and O. Okay? okay? So let's focus first on these three, okay? The three first support. Okay, let me insert a box. Okay, and let me have it transparent. No fill. Okay, this first. Right? This joint. So for segment. For segment A, B, C, using this equation, M1 will be the MA, right? So M1 will be MA, MA, L1. What's L1? L1 will be A to B, this one. Okay, so L1 is 3 plus 3, that's 6, plus 2 M, the middle, MB, times 6, Plus 6, that's 12. Plus MC, this one. Okay? Times 6. And now, plus a 6A1, A over L1. So this one will be the first segment, the left part here. So at many books, you can see the derived formula in determining 6A1A over L1 of a uh, concentrated load at the midsection of the segment. Okay? So, if you are going to memorize that, the answer for that okay, the answer for a uh, midsection Okay, is like that. It's P, okay, P will be the concentrated load. Uh, let me write it on the side here. Okay, so P for concentrated load. So we have a general formula. Okay, if we're going to solve for the 6 A1 over L1, that is uh, equal to P A A times L squared minus A squared over L, the general formula. Or if this is uh, at the midsection, so this is... Uh, formula for a concentrated load at any point on the span okay so here we're going to make it as concentrated load so p so a will be the uh, distance of this load to the left section left part okay that is if this is l that is l over 2 right so that's l over 2 then L squared minus L over 2 squared, right, over L. So that is equal to, as you can see, uh, this is uh, cancel L. This is P over 2. 
times uh, L squared minus L squared over 4. And then we have P. Okay. We have here uh, P2. Okay. P over 2. That is uh, L. This is 4 over 4. Right? So that is 3L squared over 4. So the answer will be 3PL squared over 8. Okay. I hope you got that. Okay. That is clear for us. Okay. So let's use this equation for this part. So that is uh, 3 what is P? P is 80 kilonewton. What is L? That is 6 squared over 8. So next is this one. Okay. So we're going to solve 6A2B over L2. So 6A2B over L2 meaning we're going to get no, the moment at the left, at the right part. Sorry. Okay. Using this load. Okay, in the book, meron tayong formula dyan, again. So, the formula will be, uh, the formula for that will be 8 over 60 WL cube. Okay, 8 over 60 WL cube. So, that is 8 over 60 W will be this one, 30. So, L will be 6 cube is equal to zero so you see in this one we have uh, we can simplify m a or 6 m a plus uh, okay to make it uh, simple uh, this one yung m a natin ngayon na okay ilagay ko na yung kanyang value okay para ma-add natin dito mamaya so, MA here, as you can see, we have solved MA. Okay, the problem is what is, is sign? Is it positive? So, as you can see, this one, this side, this left, uh, left side, is clockwise. So, in sign convention, in three moment, okay, the positive sign will be at the left part. Okay, this part, if you cut this, this must be clockwise and this is counterclockwise. Nice one. My, this is counterclockwise. Okay, so if you, as you can see, if you cut this, this part, Okay. Okay. So this is must be count counterclockwise, but this M A is clockwise. So meaning this is a negative. Okay. So you can see M A here is negative. So negative two hundred. Okay. Uh, is that clear? Okay. I hope that is clear. So let me try that again. So, if you're going to, for positive, if you're going to consider the left part, this must be counterclockwise. If you're going to consider the right part, this must be clockwise to make it positive. Here, if you consider this one, consider this one, that is left side. Okay, we consider the left side and the answer is clockwise. So, meaning this is negative sign, negative moment. Okay? So, I hope that's clear. Clear. So, this is negative 200 times 6. Okay? So, the answer will be 2MB times 12. So, that is, let me compute that. 
let me simplify. That is 24 MB plus 6 MC. So let me add this one. Okay. The three uh, term here. 200 times 6, no? negative 200 times 6, plus we add the 3 times 80 times 6 squared, that's over 8. And then we also add 8 times 30 times 6 cubed over 60. So if you add that, that's equal to 744, so plus 744. equal to zero this is the equation one as you can see two unknowns no? mbmc so we must have two equations so the two the next equation we're going to use is if we move move the consideration of joints to this part okay so we need to consider bco so bco that is MB, right, times 6, this is the L1, right, plus 2MC times L1 plus L2. So, automatic this imaginary segment have a length of 0. So, that is 6 plus 0, that is 6, plus MO, okay, MO times its length zero okay so cancel right or equal to zero plus here uh the first is six a1 a over l so this one so here it's almost the same formula ipapalitan lang natin itong numerator dito the numerator will be Change to 7 over 60 because we are go, we are solving for the moment at the left okay, part or the 6A1A over L1 okay, of a triangle load. Okay, so that is 7 over 60 times A2. Okay, now, uh, the formula will be W. So that's 36 cube. Okay, and then there's no load here, so there's no 6A to B over L2. That's equal to 0. Then we we'll to add that. So 6MB plus 12MC plus, plus 7 times 30 times 6 cube over 60 is equal to 7, 5, 6. Okay, 7, 56 is equal to 0. So using these two equations, you can now solve for the two unknowns. Okay, if you have a calculator there, you can compute that using equation mode okay of your calculator so we have the first term to be mb that's 24 and then mc is 6 for the first term and negative 744 uh, i'm using the equation mode 5 one okay so 6 mb for the second equation and 12 and minus 756 the answer so here we can okay solving equation one and two so MB is equal to 17 negative, okay, negative 17.43, okay, approximately 43. 
and then mc so mc is equal to negative also 54.29 okay of course the unit here is kilonewton meter okay here we have solve mb mc okay so let us check okay, let us solve so negative mb meaning on the left part this is clockwise on the right part this is counterclockwise here this is meaning your mc here negative so meaning this is clockwise here okay this is your mc Okay, now, now we can solve for uh, the equations or the reactions. Okay? So, as you can see, for the reactions, we can now uh, solve for A, R A, no? Okay, how can we solve for that? So, you can first... Uh, solve this or consider this part so that part is equal to this is 40 so this is clockwise this is 200 okay and then we have here for simply 40 okay this is r a 1 okay r a 2 okay this is this is R A two, and this is R B one. Okay, and then we have here the moment. This is uh, opposite of this direction, so two hundred, and then we have here uh, R B is negative, no M. Oh, sorry, M B is negative, as we solve here. M B is negative, so meaning the right part here will be clockwise. Okay, instead of the counterclockwise, this is clockwise. So this is uh, 17.43, I think 43.43. Okay, and then don't, don't forget the load here. That is 80 billion. Okay, we can solve for RA, uh, RA2. Summation moment at A. This is point A. This is point B. It's equal to zero positive clockwise. Okay, we assume all pass all clockwise will be positive in our equation. So that is 17.43 plus 200. Okay, plus 80 times 3. This one times this moment arm that's 3 then we have minus rb1 okay times 6 is equal to 0 okay so we are going to solve that so 17.43 plus 200 plus 80 times 3 that is 457.43 so divided by 6 is equal to 72, 6.24. Okay, approximately. Okay, 76 RB1 is equal to 76.24. Okay. And then RA2 is equal to 80 minus 76.24. is equal to... 80 minus 76 76.24 3.76 3.76 kilometer so RA now is equal to RA1 plus RA2 is equal to 43.76 kilonewton okay and then next 
is RB2. As you can see, RB2 is here. This is RB2. And this is RC. Okay. Then we have here your MC. MC is 54.29. Twenty nine, and we have don't forget the load here. This is the triangle triangle load thirty kilonewton, and we have here this is, uh, same but uh, opposite in direction. It's counter seventeen point forty three. Okay, so uh, you can use this, or you can now use the whole equation if you like. Si meron naman tayong RA. But for now, let's use this segment to solve for RC first. Okay? So, RC uh, Let's have a moment here. So, summation moment at B is equal to 0, positive clockwise we have 54.29 Okay, minus 17.43 and dito and then plus 30 one half no one half 30 sorry uh, it's one half times 30 times its length is six that's moment arm is one third of its length okay six over three okay and then we have the RC. So minus RC times 6 is equal to 0. So RC is equal to what is RC? So 54.29 minus 17.43 plus 1 half okay, times 30 times 6 times 6 over 3. Okay. okay, that is uh, positive to 16.86 and divided by 6, RC is 36.143, so 36.143, and RB now, RB2 is equal to uh, 1 half 30 times 6 minus 36.8. 143 or let's say 14 approximately so that's one half times 30 times 6 minus 36.14 that is 53 point okay 53.86 okay so rb now and let's say rb is equal to 76.24 plus 53.86 well to 130.1 130.1 okay. and RC is equal to 36.14 okay so if we add this one to check to check our answer, okay, summation of forces equal to y, or summation force at y must be equal to zero. Okay, so let's have let's solve this for the whole structure. So that's forty. Negative 40, let's say positive upward, so negative 40, let's consider first all the load, minus 80, minus 1 half 30 times 6, okay, and then let's add the reaction, 43.76, then plus 130.1, and then plus 36.14. Okay, this must be equal to 0. Okay, so negative 40 
minus AD minus one half 30 times 6 that's negative 210 okay plus 43.76 that is negative 116 right that goes uh, plus 130.1 and then plus 36.14 is equal to zero okay correct and you can also um, check this if you're going to draw its shear diagram okay that's it okay just remember for this topic if you see a fixed support you need to make an imaginary no? imaginary segment okay if you have an overhang here you need to solve you can uh, you can solve its moment and take note of its sign okay if you consider the left side this must be if it's clockwise that is negative if it's counterclockwise it's positive okay and take note okay that uh, if there is more than okay three joints you need to move from left to right okay moving one joint at a time okay so thank you very much and if you have question you can comment below or you have you can pm me okay in messenger okay thank you very much and keep safe